and welcome to Jane of All Trades. I am of course Jane and today we're going to talk about the card reader, customizer 2000 and how to get it set up with Windows 10 and all talking and compatible so that you can do custom designs on your Genome MC9000. So the first thing we're going to start with is software. So this is what the original disc looked like. This is Customizer 2000 for Windows 95, 98 and NT but we are going to get it working with Windows 10. Um, I had Windows 8 before, I'm sure I was running this but it was very briefly on Windows 8 so I think the same process and it will also work with Windows 8. But first we're going to talk about the card reader and this is the card reader. This little box here is what bridges the gap between your machine, your MC9000, and your PC because you cannot plug the MC9000 directly into a computer because that just wasn't the way things were done back in those days. So this is the wee box here and it would have come with a power supply which is 9 volts and a data cable and it's got a little eject button so that you can remove your card, you can put it in and out etc. Just as a little reminder when this is plugged in and this little busy light is flashing, can't really see it there because the camera won't focus, you do not eject or insert a card, I cannot say it enough. So if that light is flashy then you know touchy ejecty. It's exactly the same on the MC9000, you do not insert or eject a card if the machine is powered on, you have must power off the MC9000 and then eject or insert, do not do it when the power is on. So we're going to talk about the cable that comes with this. So this is the cable that came with the box in 1995. So one end is a comms port end, it looks very similar to modern day VGA cables and the other end looks like an audio jack but it's actually data transfer of course because we are transferring data in and out. The thing about the comms port though is it's now obsolete. They have changed the comms to USB ports and this is where a few of our little problems come into play. So you will need to get an adapter cable. These are already available online. I got mine from Amazon UK. Uh, I'll put the link down below anyway so at least you can see what the cable looks like, how it was described, what size it is etc etc and you'll be able to find one that would be kind of suitable to you be it your region or price range or anything you feel to be suitable. So this is the male side because your original is the female, this is the male because it's got little outies and then on the other end of the cable it has of course got a USB so we take the comms and the comms and then we put it together like that and now what we've done is we have created the audio jack data to USB cable. So we've now modernised our box so that was super duper simple. So first thing you want to do is get your software on so you can find the last version of Customizer 2000 which was version 1.5 on the official Genomi website. I'll put that link below. This is what it looks like. It's called all the way past digitizer, personalizer, etc. And it's actually right at the bottom for customizer. Once you have installed that software, it is time to plug in the box, get your USB and plug that into your PC or laptop. It should work either way. It really shouldn't matter. It doesn't need to be powerful. Now once you've plugged in your USB you need to open up your easy import software because you'll be able to go to settings and then communications and then down the right hand side of that box it will give you like COM port numbers so you'll have COM1, COM2, COM3 and COM4 so you've only got four to choose from and I think that's because back in those days it wasn't entirely plug and play so you did actually set all that up it's so long ago I can hardly even remember but I remember doing that at the time. Once your USB is plugged in you can happily do a hit or miss. You can run through comms 1, 2, 3 and 4 
to see which one gets your device to communicate. If you get a hit, that's great because you've got a one in four chance of getting it right. So now I'm going to tell you the problem I have because I have a custom tower and I actually have 11 USB ports. So what I needed to do was I needed to know which number was assigned to my USB port. So you can do that by going into your computer settings, devices, you'll see your list of devices and then when you scroll down you'll eventually see your card reader device and then in brackets it will have the COM number in it. So when I was originally plugging it in, if I was getting the number 5 or over, Easy Import would obviously not be able to talk to the card reader because we can only use 1 to 4. The easiest way to solve this problem was I just kept on unplugging it and plugging it back in and just kept on letting it roll round until I eventually got a number between 1 and 4. That seemed to work a treat. Eventually landed on COM3, discovered that in settings, went back to Easy Import, chose COM3 and it was talking like a dream. So we're at that point now where you should have your software installed, you should know where to find your COM ports within that software, you should know how to get into Windows 10 settings to see what COM number is next to your USB port, it should tell you. So you should know that as well and your little box should be plumbed in. So really the last thing you need to do is insert your card into your box. You just pop it in like that. These cards are enormous, it's 8.5 by 5.5 approximately. You pop the card in and then you should be able to start transferring your designs back and forth. Now that all does sound extremely simple when I'm explaining it to you but if you have any questions at all just drop them below. I don't get to post videos that often sadly, I've been quite busy last year, it was a bit of a, a toss up, crazy things happened and I couldn't really make videos the way I wanted to, um, however I always check the channel, maybe it's, it's almost every day but at the latest every second day just to see if any comments have come in because it's become kind of like a bit of a community forum. So if there's ever anything that you want to know or anything that you want to ask, either I'll get back to you or someone else will get back to you um, and we'll hopefully be able to get you customising super duper soon. So I hope this little bit of information has helped and will get you on the road to modernising your MC9000. Uh, I love the machine. I always say that in a video. Uh, if you want to support the little MC9000 community, it is of course absolutely free. All you have to do is like, all you have to do is subscribe and that will kind of keep the videos in the mix. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, send me some emails of your awesome embroidery or anything like that. I'm totally interested in what goes on in the world because <laughs> um, nobody gets to leave the house right now. So. Uh, yeah, contact me, janeofalltrades at zohomail.eu. Um, just send me anything you like. And uh, that's great. Thank you so much. Goodbye.